and we'll start in Namibia where the government says it has been following the events which have been rapidly leading to the deterioration of the security situation in Ukraine. In a statement released by the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation, it says that Namibia is guided by the provision of its constitution which commits the country to encourage the settlement of disputes by peaceful means and in the spirit of the Charter of the United Nations for the global community to unite its strength in international peace and security. Well, following the unrest, uh, the government of Namibia calls on all involved parties to find an amicable solution that will minimize tensions and put a hold on the current worrisome situation in Ukraine. It says Namibia firmly believes in the principle of respect for national sovereignty, territorial integrity and the peaceful settlement of disputes in accordance with relevant international laws. It has called on the United Nations, in particular the Security Council, to work towards finding a peaceful resolution in the conflict. Joining us now this morning on Breakfast Central is Petrus Muronga, a journalist from Namibia, to touch on the Namibian government's stand especially when it concerns the security situation in Ukraine. Many thanks for joining us, Peter. Now, we understand the Namibians in Russia, spe specifically students in both Russia and Ukraine. What is perhaps the Namibian government doing to secure the safety of the students? Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, the government is, in a statement yesterday, uh, indicated that uh, the safety of its national is very important and the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation is const uh, constantly in contact with Namibian students uh, studying in Ukraine to monitor the situation. All right. Um, what is the exact number of students? Do you by chance have that figure uh, finding themselves uh, stuck currently in Russia and Ukraine? Uh, uh, according to the Ministry's Executive Director, Pendananda, in the same statement, has indicated that there are currently about 100 students studying in uh, universities around Russia and 92 students uh, studying in, in, the, uh, in the Ukraine. All right, now, Peter, can you tell us if you have an idea of the economic implication this war would have, especially in the economy of Namibia? Uh, 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 looking at this, uh, this current events, uh, we know that uh, in, uh, Namibia export, uh, imports uh, most of its fuel products from uh, from from uh, overseas, and Russia is the second second uh, uh, exporter of uh, uh, of 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 this product. So we we are anticipating a rise uh, in, in oil prices because uh, we know uh, these are the, the energies that 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 run economies, and so we will see a, a, an increase in, in food prices. Uh, 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 and other stuff that are, are all important into the country because uh, although the country is uh, really to, to be self-sufficient in all, in all food items and other items that it, it, it imports, uh, it, will, it will have a negative impact uh, on the Namibian economy. Hmm. Quite interesting. Let's go back to talk about the, the students. Uh, the students who are actually uh, stuck right now in Russia and Namibia uh, talk about Russia and Ukraine and the Namibian government is doing its best. Is there any indication that uh, the Namibian government, as at, of now, as we speak, is looking to uh, carry out some evacuation of these students uh, who are currently stuck? Uh, well, the ministry has indicated that is it's in consultation with stakeholders such as the Namibia Student Financial Assistance Fund, a fund that funds students studying inside Namibia and outside Namibia to find solutions on the matter and ensure that students return home safely should it, should it become necessary. Mm, necessary, you said. Uh, one more question before we let you go, uh, Peter, as well. Uh, but looking at the fact that uh, the, the Namibian government has come out to call on the United Nations to do what they need to do to ensure that there is peace, uh, is there any certainty that the Namibian government will be willing to join the um, um, African Union, so to say, who have also come out to say uh, that uh, this is not acceptable. Any, any, any observation from your end as a journalist that um, other African leaders will be uh, bankrolling, so to say, uh, that comment, that statement made uh, by the Namibian government that there should be a ceasefire and there should be peace. Okay, uh, uh, looking at the matter that uh, Namibia is a signatory to, to the African Union, uh, and if the union take a stand to 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 say that to condemn 
uh, this kind of also not condemn this kind this kind of uh, uh, situation. If the African Union gives its ten, that means that uh, Namibia is also part of it because uh, because it's uh, it's it's of course it's a uh, it's a member of the African Union, and uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, looking at the situation, I think uh, uh, Africa should also take a stand and and, and give its uh, its opinion or its side when it comes to international uh, conflicts. All right. Thank you so much for lending your voice and letting us know what the Namibian government is doing to rescue the students who are stuck currently uh, right there in, in um, Russia and, of course, in Ukraine. Thank you, uh, Petrus, uh, who's joined us all the way from Namibia. Thank you for being here on Breakfast Central. Thank you.